What's going on guys, Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos, and uh, today is going to be a quick uh, live commentary about uh, Black Ops 3, uh, most of you guys know that um, today actually, um, I'm recording this video right now at actually uh, 2 in the morning, and I forgot to pick a class, but uh, I prestige, so I have no guns, so I guess, where's that KF5? Like I was saying, uh, it's 2... 30 right now and uh, black ops 3 world reveal actually comes out uh, sometime if you could say today and um, it is so hyped up just because um, people are uh, looking for a change um, they don't want the exosuits anymore um, at first uh, everybody was kind of liking the idea of it for like the first like month month and a half and then uh, it kind of changed mostly when they uh, announced Black Ops 3 and things. Um, everybody started getting hyped for the new game, and they kind of like they kind of lost their uh, um, they kind of lost the feel uh, for um, exosuits and uh, I'm not really sure why people are actually doing this because uh, I actually enjoy them uh, I'm not sure why people don't actually like them um, yes there are some uh, things that happened that uh, exosuits did ruin like um, S&D mostly um, you can't really do much in that game it's, uh, you, you plant the bomb and then you can run around the map in uh, like four seconds not even joking or uh trying to lie about that but um four seconds you go around the map you're right back the guy could be absolutely anywhere and you have no idea where he could be so um yeah SD that um another thing this game actually messed up on was not having actual dead silence um but that has nothing to do with exosuits and i just got shit on but um yeah except for that i actually like exosuits um, makes the game a lot more fast paced it's just uh, something that I like and um, without it the game would be so slow like going back to other Call of Duty's classic classic Call of Duty's if it feels so slow and especially to this you'd have to get used to the, uh, the movement again not being able to double jump or whatever but um that's actually I think one of the main reasons why people don't like the uh, actual exosuits and um, I feel like if you probably weren't able to, um, what the hell was that guy doing? But uh, if you weren't able to double jump and things like that, people would actually enjoy it a little bit better. Just because, uh, like the reason I said before, in S and D and whatever, uh, the main reason you could do that is because you could double jump and things. So uh, helps you gain more distance and speed and things like that. So um, I think if there was a thing um, like thrust. Which um, Black Ops 3 is actually uh, saying that they will be doing, um, which is kind of like the uh, like a normal jump, but a little bit higher. So uh, you know, you never know. We're just gonna have to find out and see uh, how it's actually like. Because, like I said, at first um, people thought the same thing about the exosuits. They liked it and they hated it. Um, bl Blitz, perfect example. Um, people. I thought it was such a stupid game type and everything now, but uh, if you go and ask people what their favorite game type is now, I, I guarantee you at least 87% of them is going to say that Uplink is their favorite. Why? Uh, it's different, and um, what other Call of Duty has done that except Ghost, which had Blitz, which was completely ass. So, um, yeah, Black Ops 3 it did say that they're going to have some type of uh, thrusting movement. Um, we're just gonna have to find out and see how that's actually gonna turn out and yeah so um hopefully it actually does turn out pretty good um, but uh, you never know what can happen just because Trek has already been working on this game two years before Advanced Warfare well there you have it guys um, just my uh, quick opinion on uh, what I think about um, exosuits and next Call of Duty uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.